cooling got down. Got it. Launch. Hold on to your captain's chairs, aviation enthusiasts, because you're not going to believe the latest addition to the NASA Mission Reports. So Robert, tell us a little bit about the latest installment of the NASA Mission Reports. As you can see over my shoulder here, it's the X-15, the NASA Mission Reports, which is uh, about the world's first winged spacecraft. And while we were all flying around in propeller-driven aircraft, they decided to try and build a, a aircraft that could fly at hypersonic velocities, multiple times the speed of sound, and actually go into space and come back and land on a runway, which sounds suspiciously like the space shuttle. And I'm going up here. I'm reading 320. Large Zinc is holding at about 55. How many existing um, X-15s are there left? There are two. Uh, one of them is at the Wright-Patterson uh, Museum, the Air Force Museum in Ohio and one of them is hanging from the ceiling at the Smithsonian in Washington. Um, it should be pointed out that other than the space shuttle, the X-15 was the fastest flying, highest flying winged vehicle in history. What's the association with Neil Armstrong and the X-15? Well, Armstrong was one of the 12 pilots that flew uh, the X-15. He left the X-15 program uh, early 1960s and uh, went and signed up to uh, join the astronaut corps. Right on the track. Your angle looks good, Bob. You're going up. Pass nine. The CD-ROM that accompanies the book has um, all 199 flight logs on it, including all of the surface-to-air transcripts. There are QuickTime virtual reality uh, objects and so on, models of the aircraft. Um, the book itself has flight manuals, historical information. I think anybody who's interested in flying, uh, any pilots out there, uh, and there are those of, among us who are actually competing for the X Prize, um, this is how you get into space cheaply.